Well, plenty to feel good about here for the UCLA Bruins. The dawn of a new era. Marguerite Awazasa getting set to take charge in her first ever head coaching job after serving as a longtime Stanford assistant up on the farm for head coach Paul Ratcliffe. So I didn't start my soccer career until I was like eight going on nine. I really started because my closest friends played. Soccer was not something big in my family. We were very much a baseball family. I was always in Little League, T-ball, everything like that. And then all my friends played soccer, and so my mom was like, if you want friends, you're gonna have to try this. And so I did, thankfully, and I had a really great experience right from the beginning, which I think helped me fall in love with the game and obviously led me to here. I can't even put into words how excited I am. I mean, I think after we finished last year, this has been on my mind, just kind of how my, season, my senior year is gonna go, and I just can't wait to really start it off. Back in college, I played at Santa Clara University. I absolutely loved my time there. I think it really helped me develop as a player in terms of my understanding of the game and really helped me develop as a coach um, in terms of kind of what my identity was going to be and how I really wanted to teach the game. Did great work in there. Good job. Good job. Attack it, guys. Relax, relax, let's play out. Anyone who knows me or has played with me will say that I was a coach on the field in some ways more than I was a player. A lot of that has to do with my lack of athletic ability. I'm like small, slow, weak, all of the above. Relax, relax, get there with time. And so in order for me to be successful, I really had to lead with my voice and really had to try to dictate the game both on and off the ball. Come on, Ray, work! Go on, Ray, lead! So at Santa Clara, that was really one of my roles was to be a coach on the field. Make her save it. I started coaching youth soccer while I was still a student at Santa Clara. And then as soon as the opportunity presented itself to go into college, I was able to apply for that and through a lot of fortunate circumstances ended up at Stanford. I really never saw myself walking away from the game. And obviously I've had a couple injuries, this and that. And so coaching was really like the most natural pathway. Discipline! The hardest parts of coaching is that you're not playing and that in some way you don't have a lot of control over this game, like soccer is a player sport for sure. That's okay, that's okay, no, it's fine. I think the, the passion and love I feel for the game as a coach is very similar to what I felt as a player. Hard, 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 good. So a lot of what we do is really teaching to make sure that our players understand the nuances, that they understand the flow of the game, the tempo. At the end of the day, we coach because we love the games. My expectations were really defined by this being my first year as a head coach. Obviously, I've never done this before. I've never had to be the one making the decisions. That transition has been as seamless as I could have hoped, but at the same time, it's been hard. One of the challenges I kind of anticipated was whether or not the team was going to buy into change because they've been very successful so far. I mean, they won Pac-12 championships the last two seasons. The team has been so receptive from day one, and thankfully with their mentality of just having open arms, open hearts with our new staff, we were able to move forward from day one. So those kind of personal pressures are hard, but on the flip side, I'm really enjoying it. 